All right. So um, MK Ultra, you might want to might want to hashtag it. <laughs> this is uh, Robert Forsh. I've got a YouTube channel called Truth. This Facebook video will be converted to a YouTube video, and I'm sure it's registering on the uh, registering. <laughs> We had uh, the sun appear from this vantage point, we would have, um, about 51 minutes ago. Can you tell? High tide was about 46 minutes ago. What we can see is a really crisp horizon there, of course. I want to unpack some things. Um, I featured a, a video once again. Uh, I moved it to the front of my playlist about MK Ultra. Uh, mind control, trauma-based mind control. And then I also want to talk about the overall um, mind control that's going on in humanity. It's not just about a, um, uh, a government program per se where they uh, tag and bag people. It's got more to do with uh, programming all all of humanity basically through uh, cinematography and and more uh, this is my uh, smaller version of the uh, YouTube truth sticker I'm gonna put that this is my prop rod by the way it's uh, carbon fiber I I got a, a prop rod and a, they threw in the car with it kinda interesting stuff it was a, uh, a golf club that got modified to this. Worked good for these specifications. So when the truth is right in front of you, what will you do when you, when you see it? And what is the truth, basically? There we go. So the, <clears throat> the truth about the trauma-based mind control... Oh, when I... When I say, when the truth is right in front of you, part of what I'm talking about with that, and a very important part, is uh, reality. I believe uh, reality and truth are interchangeable, that they're uh, re not only related to one another, they're, uh, they balance each other out, they equal one another. So one of the reasons, it's a very interesting lighting uh, with all the, the canopy of clouds that the, the sun is illuminating all around us. That's one of the reasons it's, uh, it would be in uh, cinematography or photography, it's, it's diffused lighting is basically uh, what it is. That's one of the reasons why when the, the sun is coming up over there, that there's uh, lighting on the back side of the building. We don't have to wait for the, the light to show up per se. It's what the light does, especially when there's a canopy of uh, overcast. In a setting like this, a lot of puddles show up very interestingly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unpack some of that for you, too. One of the things that I do is I meet some fascinating people. Okay, so here's what just happened. I forgot to turn off my Wi-Fi. And what ended up taking place is uh, because my Wi-Fi was on, it uh, connected and disconnected from a network that wasn't working well. So I'm back. <laughs> So let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look more at uh, at this on the um, on the trauma-based mind control. Because of what I've mentioned in my life, there's been um, some very difficult circumstances for the family, and that happens uh, with uh, drug addiction, alcoholism, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to bring that up and how that that can be very difficult for family members that have had that have been subjected to that so unfortunately because i um 
was not born again, and I was struggling with drug addiction and alcoholism, I created circumstances like my suicide attempt in 2005. That would be one of them. And the family is left with some very difficult uh, circumstances. I uh, took some uh, money, uh, $10,000, sent it to a snake oil salesman, uh, Tim Darnell in California. Don't send Tim any money even though his dad was a preacher. Um, him and, uh, now Jack Weinzerell uh, was involved in the same Ponzi scheme, but he sent me $7,000 back when he found out that that whole business venture of the millionaire mindset caused me to uh, want to not live anymore. That and the combination of, of being on Prozac and Depakote. Here's the thing, with, um, with the different uh, pharmaceuticals that I was on, it, it substantially impaired my judgment. That's one of the reasons I'm convinced that uh, people are afraid of those that are addicted to drugs uh, because of the effect of that. What does that, what does that do to the individual? I'm gonna try and line my horizon up nice and tight there. So part of what, uh, part of what happens is because I, I wanted to find another way to provide uh, money for our family, a substantial amount of money to be able to do things. I, around that time, I was uh, giving away the audio Bible for free uh, to the people. I wasn't asking people for money. I wanted to give them uh, the audio Bible. Keep in mind, I wasn't born again then. <laughs> that happened about four years ago more on that later. Uh, the suicide attempt in 05 was uh, because I, I just didn't know how to make this life work, how to, how to deal with reality. And, and part of the issue with that was the, uh, the chemicals that are in uh, sodium fluoride uh, is one of the, fluoxetine is the uh, generic name for Prozac. Uh, just so you know. And it's the active ingredient in toothpaste. Ooh, yeah, yeah, it looks like I'm, I'm good. Hopefully the sound is okay. I took the, uh, the little clip off of my fuzzy, my woolly bear microphone. Anyway, what I wanted to share with you about that is um, Prozac is, uh, or I should say sodium fluoride is the uh, active unnecessary ingredient in uh, a lot of the water fluoridation that's going on. We do need chemicals to kill bacteria in water treatment. Right, I get that. We don't need fluoride for healthier teeth and less perceptive perspectives. Um, what what uh, fluoride will do is um, cause the, per the individual that's on it to be less perceptive. In, in my case, with a tendency towards manic behavior. You can look at bipolar mania. I, I was diagnosed with uh, manic depression, bipolar they call it more now. And uh, because of that there was a, a chemical cocktail that uh, a chemical assault on me for more than uh, a dozen years. I don't take medications anymore don't need to. I, I wouldn't even take a, a weight loss pill or anything like that. I, I had a nervous breakdown in um, 2002. We had a lot of money and just sold a, a, a very desirable property. We're going to move to South Carolina here. I had a truck full of stuff. We sold our dream farm in Wisconsin. It looked like an Amish uh, setting. It was beautiful. It was a 1912 uh, Sears house made with um, uh, oak that was harvested from the forest that surrounded the area and then there was stone rubble construction it was gorgeous we had been homeschooling our sons there I worked at a Christian ministry 9-11 of 2001 happened and it kind of freaked me out okay and I had celebrated my 40 year uh, birthday uh, shortly before that. In fact, 
that was uh, 40 years uh, earlier in 61 is when I was born. Then we had right short, within a month, we had uh, the events of 9-11 of 2001. It really freaked me out. I thought, I, I want to I live where it's warmer. I want to move to the coast. We sold our house, all of that. Anyway, I had that nervous breakdown, and it was on um, ephedrine and not much sleep and a whole lot of caffeine. I had driven the truck to South Carolina with a whole bunch of stuff, and I had another truck to go back and get. And um, when I, I came to the house that we were going to live in, it was loaded with fleas and roaches, and it was in an area that was not very desirable. And I, I just had a, a cataclysm. It was a kaleidoscope of, uh, of, of conspiracy, so to speak. I mean, I was looking at life. And I thought, what in the world did I just do? I sold our, our dream home, and now we're going to live here in this terrible place that since has been torn down. I mean, it's, uh, it, was, uh, it was not a nice place to live. So anyway, I, I share all that with you because part of the dynamic of the pharmaceutical industry and, and the society that we live in is to um, very much contaminate people's perspective, perspectives of the reality that we live in. So when the truth is right in front of you, what will you do? And it's not just the truth of YouTube truth, it's the truth of the world that we live in. What will you do with that? What will you do when you see that? Glad to s Now, just so you know, I don't know who's watching right now. I, I have my comments swept to the side. I just want to see if there's numbers. And there's uh, like five people on now. Uh, this video I'll probably send out tomorrow at 104 when I'm out of Facebook jail. I'm good with the numbers. I, I remember the numbers. One of the things that happened was I sent out the local sun video. It's heating up again. Um, in one 24-hour period, because I sent it out to the groups, it's been viewed another, well, I didn't check it this morning, um, but in a 24-hour cycle, it had over 16,000 more views and a lot of shares. Uh, Job 37, in God's Word, the Bible, says basically that the sun is in the midst of the clouds. You can check out the reference for that yourself. There's a lot of mystery with the sun, moon, and stars. The biblical creation is a non-moving earth. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep his name anonymous uh, for now. A uh, gentleman that I've talked to on a few occasions was one of the top pilots in the world, did testing for NASA in that. Right out here, talk to him today. Um, I met Dave uh, who wouldn't mind me telling you about him. Uh, about a year ago, he went on Operation Deep Freeze to Antarctica. I meet a lot of people, and it's not just the people that I meet. One of the, one of the comments that I had on my video recently is uh, she, she loves to see the way that I interact with the people that I meet. So like last night when I went out, I wanted to go out. It was kind of special. Um, what happened was, as, as I'm sure many of you who know me or have watched my broadcast, I can use a lot of words. The opposite of that is knowing how to break it down, how to condense that. And so what I did on the um, uh, Flat Earth Sun and Moon Clock is I abbreviated to hashtag Flat Earth Clock made a little video on Facebook. A friend of mine, Dave Weiss, produced the app. And it's, uh, you can see it on my uh, YouTube channel, Truth or Facebook. What I did with that is I wanted to help people look into it, to look at the app. It's, a, it's like uh, 2 dollars I believe it was. Glad to help, Dave. Thanks for developing the app. One of my commenters said, uh, and a friend, uh, said we don't have a flat earth model. I'm like, well, I, I've got a flat earth. I didn't delete the comment. I left it there. Maybe he'll delete it. 
Uh, but, but anyway, uh, the flat earth model that I subscribe to is the earth doesn't move and the sun, moon, and stars move above the face of the earth. Yeah, the wind, uh, the water moves, the water seeks its level, covers the face of the earth. We wouldn't even, um, a machinist spirit level uh, that uh, a lot of uh, billiard table installers use is accurate to one five hundredth of an inch. Very precise. Take an inch, divide it into five hundred pieces, but the, the undisturbed water is flat and level. That's the, that's the point of, of that. And, and the reason why I mention that is because that's one of the clues that we're not living on a globe. By the way, this friend of mine also uh, uh, that, I, that I talked to this morning did uh, uh, space shuttle uh, testing. See, part of the deal, and what's very interesting, last night when I was out, um, I ended up talking with a, a gentleman who has not looked into the shape of the Earth at all. And um, he thought it was very interesting the way I presented what I did about, um, you know, we really didn't land on the moon. We don't live on a globe and we still got monkeys. And he didn't, um, he didn't understand why it would matter. And I, I said, well, it just means that the, the supposed authorities are lying about the world that we live in. And a lot of people that um, embrace atheism or uh, a godless cosmic Big Bang is it gives them basically a, um, a smorgasbord of life that they can look at and believe whatever they want and not have the commands of the Bible, the Ten Commandments. Well, there's another one that Jesus added. Uh, he, he said in the Gospel of John, I give you a new command that you love one another. Romans 14, God's Word says, uh, when there's a discussion of do we eat meat or drink wine, and he basically the, the, the Lord through the Apostle Paul writes anything that's not of faith is sin. Wow. That's pretty interesting because it involves the conscience. And then in the... the the writing that uh, James did, keep in mind the, the Holy Spirit authored scripture, so empowered people to do uh, what, what he wanted them to do. He, he wrote through James that if we don't do the good that we know we ought to, we sin. So I've got the sin of omission and commission right there in front of you. And then Jesus says, I give you a new command to love one another. What would that look like? That's more than saying, hey, you got a little broccoli in your teeth there. No, it's like, hey, I, you know, you say you love Jesus, your life doesn't exude that. Um, there's a disconnect between uh, the way you live and what you say. That, that was going on in me, and that's why... Um, in, two, in 2014, I had a crisis of conscience. I thought, if I was truly born again, why was I still an active drug addict and alcoholic? What was up with that? And I was on pharmaceuticals as well. Um, and basically what, what uh, God showed me is that I didn't need any of the drugs. I just actually needed to really be born again. And the question I had for God was, I thought I was born again. <laughs> yeah. No, I wasn't born again yet. That's the point of that. I wasn't born again yet. And when I was, he so empowered me to do what he created me to do and gave me a passion, purpose, and an eternal perspective that I wanted to share that with people. I believe there's a lot of apparently well-meaning people that are deceived yeah, like I was and by irony and paradox the deceived are unaware that they're deceived right I mean if to be intellectually honest if I was deceived right now I wouldn't know it if I was a victim of trauma-based mind control I wouldn't even know it just to let you know there's I'm not aware of any catcher in the rye uh, paperback in my house <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I certainly don't have one, and I, I don't believe Joni has one hidden. Hey, if I saw it on a bookshelf in the house or in her bedroom, I would be concerned. <laughs> Yeah, if you watch the video about Catcher in the Rye, um, you know, about MK Ultra, the some of the patsies and shooters had Catcher in the Rye um, uh, as part of their mind control programming. So when we look at humanity and a, a symphony, a kaleidoscope of conspiracy all around us. There's a lot of drug addiction, legal and illegal. Um, it happens all over the place. Oh, by the way, I'm going to go back to the gentleman that I met last night, Rich, at Duck's uh, Supper Club. And uh, he said, why, why would it matter? I said, well, one of the things that's going on about the shape of the earth is a lot of atheists, people that previously were atheists, using NASA as their experts, promoting a, a celestial sneeze, a godless cosmic big bang, they're lying. They're taking tax dollars and promoting a false reality. Using artificial intelligence, uh, chroma key, uh, green screens, uh, swim, swim, big swimming pool tanks with uh, astronauts and bubbles in space. There you go. How about that? So if you hashtag NASA lies, you're going to see a lot of my content. I want to see other people's content too. I've got friends that have produced powerful content that um, are also hashtag in the, in the hashtag of uh, NASA lies. I don't want to just see all my stuff. I don't know what you can see on your computer because the, the system of control and deception is so elaborate it gives a customized menu of what people see based on their uh, search preferences, their purchasing preferences. I don't know what you've been buying and where you've been going and what you've been doing. AI does. Do you have the chip? <laughs> no, I don't have a chip in my forehead or my hand. However, I do have one on my Visa card. Yeah. Yeah, that's part of the chip system is to acclimate us to, do you have the chip? When the mark of the beast comes out, um, the system, uh, the, the preceding system for mandatory uh, uh, compliance is already ubiquitous. It's all around us. It's in front of us right now. When I walk into the Walmart, I did a a live broadcast this summer, I walked into a Walmart and I saw me looking back at me in the self-serve register. Scan and go, they call it. I, I went and sought out the manager of the store at the Walmart over by Tanger Outlet in Myrtle Beach. I said, uh, when did y'all get these scan and go? She said, yesterday. I said, really? Thanks. I said, I'm doing a live broadcast about the mark of the beast and I'm going to feature uh, this system. I want people to see that the artificial intelligence uh, cameras that are ubiquitous, they're all over. If somebody says, ah, oh, don't put me on camera, uh, you're on camera a lot throughout the day. Many people are, I should say. They're all around us. There's cameras all over uh, this, this parking lot, this ramp. I'm probably visible on uh, many cameras right now. Well, I'm standing out here, not just, not just this camera. So if you think you're going to fly below the radar and leave your smartphone at home, rest assured, depending on where you live, you could be on a lot of cameras in that day and never even bring one with you. They provide plenty of cameras. Who are they? Well, it's basically the deep state, the uh, the satanic or Luciferian control uh, system of this world. Keep in mind, um, Satan will use who and what he can, and God uses it all, including Satan. So, um, if to to go to the Matrix analogy, red pill, blue pill. Uh, more, I'm not I'm not Neo. 
I, I'm simply a child of God that's actually born again. I got the upgrade. I've got the upgrade of the Holy Spirit. Um, I'll use that analogy because I'm talking to potentially a lot of video gamers. <laughs> because of PewDiePie, Logan Paul, and me hashtagging my name and theirs right next to them, uh, that'll happen. That'll happen. Um, I've met quite a few people that have become unplugged from that system of control because they saw the video in it where PewDiePie is making fun of me. Good morning, Linda. Saying, uh, you know, do you feel yourself spinning, wobbling, or, of course, gyrating? Thought that was kind of funny. Thank you. Thank you very much. We've got a, a porta unit, a porta potty provider around here in a storage company and a transport company called Elvis. <laughs> it's kind of interesting the, the different things that we have here that can um, make a, a pretty serious subject somewhat humorous. And that's why I, I do that. That's part of the, the persona that I have. That's why a lot of times people will engage me and divulge information that they wouldn't normally do. That's why I'll, I'll keep some people on the down low, so to speak. Maybe a first name or no name. Especially if they've been in, in the, uh, the system of control and are especially unaware that, uh, that they were part of a, a system that basically wasn't people friendly. So the artificial intelligence right now, just so you're aware, does not, lead a, does not need a kill call to kill an individual or a population. That system of control can shut down the power grid wherever, whenever, for however long God would allow that to happen. Imagine what would happen in an area like New York City or Myrtle Beach without electricity. What would it be like a year later in the United States if the power grid were shut down for the majority of the population? We've got over 330 million so far, I guess. I haven't talked to them all, so I don't know. Um, but that's the uh, estimated population of the United States. 330 million is best I know. Uh, the population of the world, seven and three quarter billion people. What would happen in the world if the power grid for everybody were shut down? Uh, there would be diesel generators and deep underground military bases and, and, and compounds where the, the wealthiest uh, know about this stuff I'm talking about and have basically um, a crash pad that they can live out the, the difficulty that will arise when there's mass chaos. And I'm not all freaked out about it, that it could happen at a moment. I could get an unwelcome guest drive into this parking lot and pop, pop. Somebody, is it likely going to happen that they're going to take me out like that? No, I'd, if, if they wanted to take me out of uh, a directed energy weapon to give me an interruption in my heart function would work just fine. I'm not freaked out about it. I'm good to go. That's the point of that. Uh, so that video that I shot with the sun apparently in the clouds um, gave me a platform to be able to uh, interact with people all around the world. If you look at my friend network, it's very interesting on Facebook. I know it, it, it will look like I'm bouncing around, and I am, uh, and some of the topics may appear to be disconnected and not related. I'll, I'll bring it all together. I, I think a lot of you know that. Um, so some of my friends, I've got a lot of mutual friends with. How nice. And it is nice. It's nice to have mutual friends, and I, I like that. I also like having no mutual friends. I got a friend request from somebody yesterday that I have no mutual friends with and I'm thinking, huh, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Things that make you think. 
I've got no mutual friends with them and they sent me a friend request. Interestingly enough, the only time that that can happen is, um, is when I'm below my friend limit, which doesn't happen very often and it doesn't last for more than a couple of minutes. I typically only unfriend a deactivated account because I want to uh, share this message of truth to the ends of the earth around the clock and it's it's not just exposing the actual shape of the world it it's about exposing the reality of the world we live in almost the opposite of the Truman Show. Truman was featured as a as a, an actor on a movie set unaware that he was being broadcast to the world in this little Truman Show like existence. So whether or not I'm featured on a documentary or a series, I don't know, I've got my own thing going on right now that God is doing in and through me. So I'll keep doing this. And I've been told by different uh, documentary producers and YouTube channels that they want to get together with me and produce a documentary that I'm featured in. Keep in mind, I, I'm not like, oh goody, <laughs> I, it would be great if it's real. Um, I don't mind people making fun of me. It only brings more views, just to be uh, genuine with that. Uh, back to my Sun in the Clouds video, viewed over 600,000 times in its uh, various uh, shares through, um, and, and not just shares, that video has been combined by different channels in their videos. So my work has been seen millions of times and me personally or on video ha has been seen over 25 million times and if the one percent is unaware of who I well of course they're aware who I am I'm the I'm the guy holding the sign up at the uh, Flat Earth International Conference I can almost see it like a like a, a humorous video like uh, like the movie The Jerk Steve Martin was in or something like that. I would want to know who's, who's the guy holding the YouTube truth sign. Who's that guy? Yeah, well, that's Robert Forsh. That's who I am. And as important as that is, it's whose I am that's the most important. I'm a child of God. There's some groups right now trying to get my channel, some people right now trying to get my channel taken down. Yeah, because I'm telling the truth. Scott Hanley is one of the profiles. You can scroll through that Sun in the Clouds video or it's called the Local Sun. Scroll through the shares and you can see it there. His profile is like this, a real angry, scary looking dude doing this. He wants me to shut up, not shutting up. How about that? What are you going to do with somebody that's not afraid to live, die, or tell the truth? Well, the creator of this world that we live in uh, has sovereignly and providentially given me some special skills. I have a special set of skills. <laughs> Yeah, on the movie Taken. I do have a special set of skills. I think outside the box. I think outside the sandbox. This isn't my sandbox, it's my Heavenly Father's sandbox. Logan Paul, if you're watching, or PewDiePie, or anybody else. You don't need to go to the edge of the earth and see if there's an ice wall there. The further you get away from the sun, it gets cold. Um, yesterday in uh, Denver, it was close to, it was in the single digits, like eight degrees. In California, Southern California was 40, 44, Northern California was 42. Here it was in the 60s. I like this. The water temp is in the 50s, so when the, when the wind comes off of the water, that massive 
thermal sink that stabilizes the temperatures of the world, intermingles with um, uh, air that's being heated up by the sun and what the sun hits. When the sun hits the black car, it gets very hot. It'll burn your hand. Well, maybe not your hand. It would burn my hand if I touched it when the sun has been beating on it. You could cook an egg on that car. Um, we've got temperature differentials that drive the hydrologic cycle. So how much does a gallon of water actually weigh? Well, that depends on the temperature. That's what drives the whole hydrologic cycle, the water cycle of the world. There it is, the truth mobile and the level horizon right there. How about that? How about that? Ah, the world, she's around. The water, she's a flat. Ah, boss, you see the Flintstones? The world, she's around. The, the boss says she's a flat. See, water seeks its level, covers the face of the earth. It'll do that all day long. No problemo. So I've got one for you. They talk about, uh, or I'll talk about it. Tinfoil hat wearing kaleidoscope of conspiracies. Uh, I wouldn't put a tinfoil hat on my head. I remember when uh, when I was adjusting the television for the the fake moon landing. Around that time, we had rabbit ears on the TV. TV at that, and uh, we would put. I've even personally done it. Put aluminum foil on the on the TV antennas to get the reception better. So don't be putting any tin foil on your head. I was thinking, you know, if you look at riot gear and police or Felix or uh, uh, professional sports, uh, motor sports, uh, this would be a helmet for um, uh, like uh, motocross. See the Red Bull performers. Uh, doing radical stunts with uh, motorcycles and that. I've got a, a skill set, a professional skill set that's um, professional level motorsports. I uh, go the speed limit in my car. If I needed to go faster, I, I wouldn't be afraid to do that if, if life-threatening circumstances were uh, needed. Um, when, uh, like, so for example, when I whip this around, it, it just allows me to see what I look like to you in reverse, but I'll, I'll flip this back around and, and unpack some of this. Imagine if there was a coating that I could put on a helmet that uh, would inhibit electronic um, uh, transmission. Imagine if, um, if you managed a team of um, riot police and you were going to hit a crowd like the yellow vest demonstrators. You were going to hit a crowd with a frequency, but you had a couple of troublemakers on your, on your, on your special enforcement. Well, some could get the coating on the helmet, some not so much. If you look at reflective uh, signs, reflective paint in that, there's a, there's a coating that reflects light differently. You know, you might see me different when I when I have a bit of a swagger and I say, you know, I can I can get in a car. This is a that's a V8 right there, fuel injected V8. It's a 94 with um, uh, with fuel injection. 
I've got that car on my photo album next to a Ferrari F1, I believe. It's worth about a, a million three at the Costco parking lot. I, I put it in the shot, took the photo, and put my car next to it. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, photos like that or my videos go around the world and impact people's lives for eternity. That's why I do this, because I care. I met a, a precious lady last night at that bar I was talking about. I was talking to her, her boyfriend, too. I, she had a, a ring on her finger, and I, I was talking to Rich, and uh, she, she was tearing up. She said... Uh, have, have you ever seen that show uh, with Michael Landon? I said, Touched by an Angel. She said, yeah. Uh, she said, you're, you're my angel. I, I said, no, I, I'm not an angel. I'm actually, I was a walking dead man. I was a spiritually dead man walking, and now I'm, I'm born again. It was raining last night, and I was uh, out there, uh, way out there, and that's what I do. There's monarch roofing going by. <laughs> Kind of interesting. Monarch is one of the mind control references. Monarch uh, mind control. They use the the butterfly as an example with a an epigenetic memory of the monarch butterfly that takes multiple generations to fly, uh, or uh, not necessarily generations, but um, it takes like they travel thousands of miles and they remember how to get there. I would like to say epigenetic memory might be like instinct, like basic instinct. Ouch. Sharon Stone and basic instinct, kind of weird. They, in Hollywood, there's mind control operations uh, that enslaves the people that want fame and fortune. And, uh, and then the, the system will accommodate that and then enslave the, the person with, uh, with trinkets and baubles and, and fame and fortune. Uh, we can see it, the Illuminati elite that are, that are controlling not only the, the individual that enjoys somewhat of that celebrity fortune and fame, they have access to their fans that they create, the fan base that they create. My guess uh, from the amount of time that up as in closer. In the, in the summer, the sun comes up way over there from this vantage point. Today it appeared over, well, it would have appeared over in that area. The sun, moon, and stars are like a celestial timepiece that tells us what time and season it is and also what uh, time of the year it is and it causes the seasons as well. As the sun and the moon run their course over the face of the earth, they largely affect uh, the tidal activity as well as um, keeping track of it all. Uh, today, this morning, there was a 5.1 foot high tide the other day I mentioned the tidal activity where I've got the little stone sculpture by the beach that Anna made. Uh, there was a 4.1 foot high tide in the afternoon, in the evening it was actually. I remember the numbers, I remember the names, the people, the conversations. I don't remember it all. I've got a photographic memory and it's not just limited to like, uh, I don't remember everything. Uh, that would be too much. Um, I just remember what I need to when I need to. That works for me. And it, it's not that I'm trying to just show it off for the sa sake of, of trying to sh show you how special I am. Uh, people that are paying attention know I'm very special. And like Morpheus said to Neil, if, 
If they knew what I knew, you would be dead. And see, that's why I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to live, die, or tell the truth. Yeah. Ooh, I put my hand in my pocket. Hopefully that uh, didn't interrupt the, the signal. Sometimes, um, you know, what I did when I, um, I got the... When I was at the Flat Earth Conference and I met the rich from BBC and uh, the individuals from the various media sources, they, they ran the wire and the microphone on me and I thought, wow, I need to get me one of those. And I did, I did. They're like uh, $250 uh, to have that set up. It's changed a lot of what I do. It's, it, it allows me to interact with people when I'm on a broadcast and um, there's flat earth meetups all over the world. This is 2019, last year in 2018, we were projected to have 20 million guests here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area. The Grand Strand uh, is called around here. Now in the summer months, uh, I believe it was $8 a day without re-entry. It would cost me to park my car here. This time of the year it's absolutely free. So because of that I'll, I'll take the opportunity to, to use this as my set, as my setting. Uh, one of the obvious things is all those reflections of course are there. Uh, the reflections of the, the vehicle, the posts, the, um, all of that. This is the Prince Re Resort in Cherry Grove, South Carolina. If you wanted a uh, condo here, um, oceanfront condos for sale, I'm going to give them a shout out. I've got a worldwide audience. They might want some business. Part of this is to be able to share this information with people all over the world. This is a great place to live. I love it. Um, there's a lot of friends I'd love to have uh, live near here. That'd be awesome. So if you want to hang out with me on the beach sometime, maybe you want to get yourself an oceanfront condo at the Prince Resort. Have some uh, french fries or cheese sticks at the Boardwalk Beach Cafe. Yeah, when you see this on the sign, you can uh, go ahead and write it down, make a call if you want. There's plenty of people with plenty of money that don't have a problem uh, spending money to live at a place like this. This is a, a reminder of water seeking its level. That's the reality of it. The low spot in the parking lot is right there. The reason why I could make that walk around and, uh, and not have a problem is because I disconnected my wireless, turned it off on my car or on my phone. So I'm in the same place. Um, I, meet the, I meet the beach services, the utilities and local uh, providers of the infrastructure around here and have conversations with them all of that. The, the diffused lighting that I mentioned earlier makes the puddles real easy to see. Keep in mind we wouldn't have plum or level on a any if we were on a spinning wobbling and of course gyrating oblate spheroid. See how the uh, sign is a bit tipped? That's really obvious. One of the reasons why I'll take the time to unpack some of this is because the the truth is right in front of you. The fact that there's no curvature on the horizon, um, the water in the puddles, they're all level, they're all reflecting the same. Well, they're reflecting different things, but they're, they're level. Water seeks its level. NASA lies. When I put that together in a title, uh, my work is uh, deposited in a reservoir of a lot of other people's work as well. That's why I do that. And as important as it might be to see what you think might be uh, empirical evidence like 
um, oh, like uh, balloons that are, you know, like 20 miles in the air. As valuable as that might be, what I've wanted to do is to put empirical evidence right in your hands, right in front of you. Even if you uh, go to a hot spot in your, and there's mud paths that you walk through to get to where you're going to see this in a, in a third world country. I've got friends that I'm connected with that, that live where they have to have a, a VPN, a, a way to kind of hide from the system. Uh, on their internet or they'll go to a public area anyway if you had a mud path a mud trail I'm trying to help you see that even the puddles in your uh, wherever you live in the world it could be South America South Africa Australia Australia are you okay there like PewDiePie making fun of me drinking water upside down like that proves something I'll tell you what it proves. It, it proves that God can use somebody mocking the truth to get the truth out there. <laughs> Some of our, our local law enforcement. My wife says, uh, Joni, you're known around here. I, I said, yeah, I, I know that. I'm known all around the world because um, I have a passion to help people know the truth. I've got some friends, I believe, on this broadcast right now that know of, of youth that are waking up to the reality that there's a mass deception on humanity. Teenagers! <laughs> and if you want stickers like I showed in the, in the beginning of the broadcast or earlier on, um, like this one, the larger one, I've got the uh, smaller one too. I'm not selling any of them. I don't sell them. I'm not even asking you to give me money. I'm simply saying if you want stickers like that, uh, you can uh, call me. And I say call me because it, it's a way for me to engage people. I, I can add you to my contacts. Um, and, and I would. Uh, the other thing is if... Um, if you don't want to be connected, but you want the truth um, sticker, you can go and have them made up. That's what I do. I contact Coastal Printing in, in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. They do my printing. Uh, they do my shirts. This is a champion shirt. I am a champion. I'm a champion of the faith. Unapologetically. Not ashamed of this at all. There's a fine line. <laughs> between arrogance, narcissism, and embracing the reality that I'm a child of God created for the purpose you're looking at, to help set people free. God is not a cosmic killjoy taking the pleasure out of life at all. He brings it. He provides it. So in the, um, in the Bible, if you listen to, I do, the New Testament a lot. And I listen to the Old Testament too. I just prefer listening to the New Testament uh, throughout the day or meditating on it. And so it takes less than a day to hear, 19 hours, to hear the entire New Testament. And then it takes uh, 77 hours to hear the entire Bible. I've used the New International Version on mine uh, it's, I believe, the 1984 edition. Some people have a problem with that. Uh, it, does, it uses the term expanse for the firmament. I believe there's a firmament up there, uh, a molten glass type structure, maybe obsidian. I, I don't exactly know. I don't need to know. I know we had a great flood. I posted Ron Wyatt's work on uh, discovering the ark in uh, in 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 the mountains of Ararat, the mountains of Ararat, in the metallurgy that was analyzed from the archaeological digs that were done there. And there's like a four hour video on it on my liked videos in the top in the top 50. You may have to scroll further depending on when you're watching this uh, video. 
it, there's uh, these metals that are that are utilized that were utilized in the building of the ark it's fascinating apparently aluminum titanium bronze um, sophisticated uh, societies existed uh, before ours apparently and we don't know all the details of all the technology that was available then um, it's on a need-to-know basis I don't really need to know what I would simply say that um, on my YouTube channel truth I believe you'll find the truth there ultimately the most important truth is the reality of the need to be born again and to make sure that that's happened for you if that's what you um, want if that's what you believe has happened to you if you believe you've been born again I would simply encourage you to seek the truth about that matter with all your heart probably um, okay so the the truth is the offensive weapon in our arsenal I would venture to say it's not only offensive it's offensive and it offends uh, it's also a defensive weapon as well uh, the reality uh, that the Holy Spirit that created this world that we live in lives in and through me gives me great comfort because I'm very aware of a lot of circumstances that are going on around me not all of them just enough to know that it's good to know I'm in good hands you're in good hands <laughs> God's hands he uh, he created me for this so um, Part of the, you know, in the video game culture that uh, the Logan Paul, PewDiePie, Trigger Tro, and many other uh, people that have large audience bases, a lot of video gamers could be teens, tweens, or in betweens, or they could be balding and just uh, living in a video game reality, uh, a false reality of make believe. Have you seen it? I know I have, it's all around. But that uh, the video game false reality takes on different proportions when you've got a geriatric that's got a channel changer, Alzheimer's, or dementia, and is living in a, in a false reality of thinking themselves well informed when basically they're being programmed and they're, they're participating in their programming by what they choose to listen to or watch all of the input that goes into us whether it's our our eyes our ears that's all programming and then when we think of programming I want to take this back to a scene uh, thousands of years ago okay creating a, a, a mind control slave Jesus cast demons out of people in the biblical accounts in the Gospels. I believe people are demonically possessed now today too. Now in that, I want you to think about the Last Supper where Jesus says when he gave the, when, when Judas Iscariot took the bite of the bread, when he ate the bread, drank the wine, Satan entered into him. Think about that. Of Judas, Jesus said it would have been better if that man had not been born. And I believe that's the state of anybody who's not going to be born of God's Spirit. In the fall of mankind, what preceded that in Genesis 3 was a, a fall of Lucifer from heaven in Genesis or in in scriptural accounts. You can you can read the accounts of Scripture in Job, I believe we'll see some account of that and and also in the book of Revelation a book that is not um, very well read or understood or listened to what I would have you consider is that uh, because of the the unique writing style that God uses in prophecy and in the book of Revelation it's a revealing to humanity of what's going on in that, um, it talks about Satan and a third of the angels being cast out of heaven 
along with him. Good morning. So uh, what what happens, you know, like the drive by and the wave and the hay, I I get people that come up to me often, and uh, that's a that's a good thing. Whether they actually come up to me or they start searching for the truth uh, because of what they see on my car, ultimately I believe that it's God's grace is required. God's grace, our unmerited favor for Him, to grant us a love for the truth and then to be able to apprehend that truth when we see it. What will you do when you encounter the truth? A sticker like this. It's a business size sticker. Logan Paul stuck it to his forehead talking to me. I believe that young man, we've got, we've got sons his age or we're his age. Um, Fascinating young man. I believe he's dealing with a crisis of conscience myself. When I, I had an opportunity to interact with him for in except, probably close to 35 minutes, he and his team, and then later on that day for more, but it was face-to-face, him and I and his team for probably 35 minutes. I didn't realize the significance of it at the time, which is fine. I don't need to. That's maybe part of what made it interesting for him. Um, I knew we were having a special guest that had a large following. Uh, Last I saw, uh, Logan Paul has um, over 4.5 billion views. That's just on YouTube. What is it with the other platforms that he's on? PewDiePie, I believe. Now, PewDiePie is the most subscribed YouTube channel in the world. When he spent about a third of his first video making fun of me personally and what I said about, do you feel yourself spinning, wobbling, and gyrating? And that bearded headphone equipped man is going... He's laughing. He's laughing at the truth. They bring out the world court jesters to make fun of the truth and make it sound crazy. We don't have toilet water flying out on people in Australia because of gravity. Well, hello, it's just water seeking its level. That's just what it does all over the face of the earth. The stationary earth, the non-moving earth is biblical and it's reality. That's the point of all this. For those that say the Bible isn't a science book, what I would say is consider this. Science, as, as it's being presented today through the, um, the space program of NASA, NASA lies. And they are they've elevated themselves through the multimedia uh, promotion, through mainstream controlled corporate media by the deep state. They have presented themselves as the experts on our existence, that we exploded from a, a godless cosmic Big Bang some over four billion years ago. Oh well, they're lying. I ain't buying. Who's they? Satan and all those that are deceived. Ultimately, the deceivers are deceived themselves, including the Illuminati, including Satan. They're all deceived. Now, I want you to think of something. I'm going to put this in your mind, hopefully. Do you know, I've got keys on my keychain here. Uh, key to the, key to the Lexus, okay. And then I've got this key too. Do you know what that's a key to? You could use a paper clip for the same purpose. If I need to take a SIM card out of my iPhone 10 and put it into another iPhone, somebody else's iPhone, if they want to 
loan it to me. <laughs> uh, but I've got extra devices. Do you ever remember seeing Born Identity? Jason Born swaps a, a, a SIM card out of one phone and puts it into another in a in a a, a, a stairwell. I remember it. Like I said, I've got a photographic memory. It doesn't mean I, somebody could hand me a phone book and I remember it all. I don't need that. That's not what I need. Um, what I need to remember is whatever God wants me to remember, the God who created this world. He took up human flesh, dwelt among us as the person I've known for my whole life, almost my whole life, as Jesus. I understand we didn't have J's for as long as we've had the account of, of Scripture for thousands of years. So Yeshua, Yahweh, uh, the Alpha and Omega, the Great I Am, uh, the Holy One, the Mighty One, uh, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, my Heavenly Father. You know, we were all, all of God's children were conceived in His mind before the foundation of the world well before I messed up and asked for help, right? The doctrine of election, predestination, is very controversial. A lot of people won't touch it. It's a reality. So is man's responsibility. I'm going to weigh heavy on God being large and in charge. <laughs> uh, he created this world. He created what uh, is viewed as, I believe, right or wrong. What Scripture says is a sin, I'm, I'm agreeing with Scripture. If Scripture says something is a sin, I'm agreeing with Scripture on that. Okay. So that being said, some really major on a particular day of the week to celebrate um, uh, commemorative get-togethers, like corporate gatherings. What I would simply say is that legalism is not a good thing to participate in. I'm not legalistic. I'm not religious in the sense of phony. Each and every day I celebrate new life in Christ, literally. Literally, as I live my life. Now, on this post where Scott Hanley is wanting me to shut up and saying I'm going to get banned from, I'm going to get my channel taken down, um, they, on that group, are accusing me of believing it's okay for child rape by priests. And I'm here to tell you, I'm not a pedophile, I'm not a Satanist, I'm, as best I know, I'm not an M MK Ultra uh, mind-controlled individual. I'm controlled by God who created this world um, and wants me to hand out invitations for eternity. So I'm not uh, in favor of any premarital or extramarital sexual activity. I believe that Scripture is true, God's Word is true, and all other words are suspect. I also believe that premarital sex may lead to no marital sex. It happens. I'm also convinced that people that drink water are going to die. That doesn't mean drinking water is going to cause them to die. You can live a long time without food, less time without water, by the way, which is liquid and oxygen uh, mixed. You can live far less without oxygen. I don't want to live a day without Christ being the central focus of my life. God's Word is spiritual nourishment for me to uh, know what the difference between right or wrong is. Even though I knew the difference between right and wrong for a long time, so I thought, I didn't have the power to carry it out. I thought I was born again until I actually was. That's the big deal. There's a new sheriff in town. He kicked out the, the baggage that I had. Whatever uh, the, the psychological problems were that were ruling my life and the drugging of me by the pharmaceutical industry and myself by my cooperation with them or my own self-prescribed legal and illegal drugs. 
there's a lot of drugs. And then there's also um, self-importance. Um, what would I say? Man's attempt to do what God uh, requires. It's impossible to do that. It's impossible to do that humanly speaking because the Holy Spirit needs to take up residence in the child of God to do what's humanly impossible. To love our neighbor as ourself. To love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. I can't do it <laughs> unaided by the Holy Spirit. I can walk obediently with Him. That's what I do. That's what I get to do. I don't have to. Oh, do I have to get up and do this? <laughs> I love doing this. Wait until you see my studio at home. It's going to be a trip. It is already. I've got a, a pool table set up in there. And one of the reasons for that, and, uh, and it's connected to the, it's, it's my bedroom. It's where I sleep. I've got a select, com countress, a select comfort air mattress that I put on top of the pool table. It's kind of like my version of the Murphy bed. It's a three-quarter ton slate, Italian slate that I sleep on. <laughs> But there's an air mattress, a cushion of air, uh, comfortable that me and, and whatever kitties, uh, Sphinx kitties, the naked kitties, whatever of those want to uh, join me. And if Joni wants to join me, that'd be great. <laughs> but I, I share that with you because I, I wanted to have a, a pool table that I can show you the impossibility of the globe. I've shown it with upside down surfers out there. That really looks weird, zoomed in. It looks like ships are gonna fall off the edge of the earth there, and it's a couple miles away. We know there's a lot more water out there. And that in the same view with the surf, uh, the surfers and the, uh, the breaking waves right there. There's optical limitations that we have. But the point of the, um, the billiard table and showing that is if there's a little bit of a roll on the table, that's a term used like if it's not perfectly level, it'll show up. However, uh, the felt is rather forgiving. So when I had the naked slate, the naked Italian slate, nothing on it, I would put a billiard ball on there and I got it set really good. Of course, I needed to because I'm illustrating a point. If there was any movement of the, um, of the earth, a game of billiards wouldn't work. There's no movement of the earth. Let's, um, let's take you up here to the water jug. It's been seen by millions of people all around the world. She's not moving. Let me, um, I won't have the perfect lined up with the horizon. What it will be, though, is perfectly flat. Let me um, see, because it can say, stay steadier than I can. I think what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and set this here. And I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can line that up. It's like, um, it's like, I'm an expert marksman, by the way. Um, I, am a, I am a directed energy weapon. I'm directed by God to unleash the truth on humanity. Leveraging worldwide instantaneous... Uh, portable communications, the World Wide Web, the power grid of the world, and all the habitats in humanity that help uh, make this possible. I've met Google executives out on the um, out on the beach. By the way, you think that was any accident? There's no accidents. I'm telling you. Okay, so let me see how well I can line that up. 
I think I'm going to drop it a wee bit. The uh, carbon fiber uh, tripod I use is a is a ProMaster. Okay, so we can see it's above. I'll just run the okay, and now we can see it's below. And when I tighten it up real tight there, I want to put that in the shot and make it nice and rigid. Tighten everything up good, all the screws. Don't want to uh, bump the car. What I've done too is uh, taken the um, some of our, our parking ramps around here have a cable system where they run cables to um, stop cars from rolling off the front of the ramp there. Well, one of the one of the reasons for using cables instead of concrete is it allows air to blow through. We can get hundreds of miles an hour of wind here. I've got a page, I've got a, quite a few pages on my Facebook that I've created. Weather Wars talks about weather modification. If you want to send me any videos, I get friends that send me videos. Some of them I've already featured on my liked videos. Um, I can tell when I click on it, I can say, oh, I've already liked that. It's not that I remember all of them, although I remember most of them. So I've got a page called Weather Wars, another page called Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. Um, reality exposes the global lie. Bullies, I manage bullies. Yeah, they don't manage me. Um, I'm not gonna be bullied by anybody. Flat Earth, I've got a YouTube group or a Facebook uh, group called you, hashtag YouTube Truth. I want to do that to put my name out there. I'm probably going to have a page if I can. Um, I don't know. I might. I might develop a group that's hashtag Robert Forge. I may do that because I want all those various streams of um, of information to converge where people can find my content. I spend a lot of time to do this, somewhere in the neighborhood of um, about 20 hours a week. Um, it's, it's not a, a me celebration, it's a we celebration. Yeah, I want to tighten that up a little bit. It, it was looking a little tipped. So part of what this is, on the, um, on the liked videos I have, there are people that to produce the, the content that I've shared. And it's starting to rain here right now. I want to show you what that looks like. Um, maybe you can see some of the droplets uh, forming on the car. Can you see the ripples out in the, in the water on the ocean? Nah, it's a little far away. What about if we, um, if we go right over here? Now, if I want to put the YouTube Truth Mobile, I'll move, the, um, I'll move my tripod out of the way a bit. What I'm going to do is step between those cars. Right now, we see the, the building there. So what I'll do is show you the, the building. We can see that. And then uh, that building right there. When I when I get close enough, um, it's hard to see the ripples from that vantage point. It's really hard to see them when they stop falling. Here, here we've got some right over here. There they are. There's the uh, edge of the building right there. See that? You move a little bit. It's there. It's gone. Okay. So there's the, there's the car. To, um, to put the, the car in the reflection, I would have to probably be up on the balcony, one of the balconies there. I can't do it from here. So I can't make it happen. 
just because I I want to show you how that works. See these puddles look a little bit different from this vantage point. That's just the the reality of it. So people come from all over the world uh, to enjoy the beauty and majesty of being here. I'm going to uh, take us on out for a moment. And uh, illustrate a couple of things. All the, uh, the brush up here is indicative of previous high tides. The uh, wind blows over the over the water creates the waves and also moves the the sand that's just part of the reality of that uh, the birds display aerodynamics clearly capable of uh, flying with a lightweight uh, skeletal structure and muscles and in all of that that they use reverse osmosis to help add liquid to their body it's a biomimicry that we created, that God created, um, a thin membrane in a seabird which allows them to drink salt water and survive quite well, thank you. Yeah, that's just what they do. That's how it actually works. Right now I've got about a 10 mile visibility uh, that I can see buildings down there, but it's, uh, like I said, raining right now. The birds don't mind, uh, the surfers don't mind, they'll come out in it. Part of this is also a uh, sound check for me to see how this, uh, how this all works out. So I want to thank you, I'm going to wrap this up, I believe, get my uh, ending shot. I don't know if it's the last shot that the... Uh, that I'll get as a thumbnail uh, choice for the video. I've got hundreds of hours of the beauty and majesty of creation on the um, on my channel YouTube Truth and on my Facebook. I like to cross pollinate with that and uh, Twitter. Uh, the people, when, when you're looking at somebody like Logan Paul or PewDiePie, I got to tell you, they've probably got quite a staff around them. I don't know. I don't have any staff that I pay a salary to to do any of the social media management. What I do have are friends and family all over the world that I really appreciate um, helping me share God's word to the ends of the earth around the clock. I, I'm not actually going to end the broadcast yet. Um, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and take us and I'll I'll end it up there. Okay so one of the things that I want to show you is the flashing open sign. Are you open to the possibility that you've been deceived? <laughs> How about that? Are you open to that possibility? Because largely much of humanity has been deceived and they don't know it. Um, one of the things that I would bring up is uh, Santa Claus. Ah, there's a, a dog, an owner, and a tennis ball. Do you think that that uh, water will stick to that tennis ball when it goes spinning? No way. Hey, how are you? It's okay. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, the dog does, or the uh, water and sand don't stick to the tennis ball. They aren't going to stick to a, a spinning globe. It, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Yeah, a big dog like that would throw a lot of water off when they go shaking their fur, right? 
That's just part of the reality of that. That's the world we actually live in. Water doesn't stick to a spinning ball. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you from a, a little bit different camera angle. I think I can do it from here as the rain is uh, falling. Maybe this will be the thumbnail that Facebook gives me to choose from. I don't know. Oh, I know where I want to do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to set the shot a little bit different. Good morning. I do that, yeah. Well, it's um, ultraviolet light comes from the sun, even diffused lighting, it kills bacteria, and I'm convinced it might add a little extra zip to it, a little added energy. Well, I make plasma water. You make plasma water, how do you do that? I actually got 16 GANS vials from uh, Paul and Lynn Schmoltz out in, uh, uh, they're in uh, Montana. 16 GANS, that sounds like magnification. GANS is a subject, a, a substance you make that's supercharged with electromagnetic energy. Wow. And then when you have those, they'll charge up. I have a generator that has 13 gallons of water, and overnight it'll charge that up and to make it into charged plasma water. Wow. I'm treating some people with Parkinson's. I got a guy that had kidneys. If we restored his kidney, already got him off dialysis. Do you mind if this is listened to by my audience? Would you like to be seen in the, in the view? Wow, hey, hang on just a second. Yeah. Um, so the camera is looking over this way. Let me, um, let me set this up a little bit better so people can see us. Oh, I'm doing a, a live uh, Facebook broadcast and, and now uh, an interview. I'm Robert Forsch, by the way. Adrian Brodish. Nice to meet you. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, well, that's okay. Let me uh, give you my card and you can check it out later if you want. Here's a, a card and here's a sticker. You can stick that where the sun shines if you want to. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Okay. So you're, um, I want to introduce you to my audience. Well, we've met before, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we haven't had yeah, this no, conversation. Yeah, yeah. I'm Barry Colescott. Yeah. Good to see you again, Good Barry. To see you. Uh, well, the, the generators, you can build a generator to make plasma water. Uh, the site, I think, is called Energy Solutions okay. online. He shows you how to build one. Uh, he sells little vials. It's now, I guess, he has four bottles of a thing called GANS. He makes 16 different frequencies of it. I think it's about $239. He has a discount coupon. You can get it less. But then you can start generating 13 gallons of plasma water at a time. If you only draw down five gallons, you put five gallons of distilled water or purified water in, and in an hour, it gets charged back up again and becomes plasma water. It is really good. It's called an electron donor. Wow. So it's uh, something that, that puts out electrons. It'll uh, neutralize things like uh, free radicals converts free radicals into water and hydrates your system. Excellent. Uh, if you go a little bit beyond that and you watch some sites that are online about how to make H2, carbonated hydrogen water, you can buy a generator for $2,000 or you can make it out of beer bottles that have the German beer bottles that have a ceramic topper with a, a rubber ring that you lock down. Yeah. You, get, you can get those for free. I got a uh, case and a half of those at the local German beer store. Okay. And you you order magnesium rods. They're three eighths of an inch online from China. Okay. Five inches long. They're twenty two dollars, and you get a thing called malic acid. And you get that from any pharmaceutical grade yeah. chemical store. Yeah. And they have all this stuff online, but you take a half a teaspoon of malic acid, you put it in the bottle, you drop the magnesium rod in and you put boiling water in and you cap it and you put it in the freezer for about an hour to get it cold enough to drink and then you take it out open it you breathe in the hydrogen that is really condensed in there it's like a champagne right, bottle right. and then you drink that wow now that hydrogen is also charged up from the release of energy from the magnesium rod yeah and it's an electron donor again big time and if you go to Sarah Westall's website, 
Sarah Westall shows you what people's intestines look like after chemotherapy and radiation. Wow. So what I want to do, uh, Barry, is hang on just a second. My water jug there is fine. Um, but I, I do have uh, an umbrella. I want to protect my um, microphone and my, uh, my mobile mic uh, set up here. This one is kind of the, the bigger deal. So if you want to come closer, Barry, you're you're fine right there. Let me let me set the the shot up here a little bit better. Um, I think that's uh, that's probably where I want it to be for now, and uh, that'll allow me to protect my equipment with my umbrella here. So, uh, folks, you'll probably hear the uh, the umbrella here, but that's uh, that's what we've got. Step on a bit closer, if you would, Barry. Um, so, uh, do you have a business card you would want to show the camera? Do you have... Uh, oh, I have lots of business cards, but they don't relate to that. But, uh, well, uh, if you've got contact, I'd love to have your, uh, your contact information. And uh, if, would you like me to show it to my audience so it's on the video? Yeah. There it is. Okay, thank you, Barry. Uh, so, this is Barry here, and uh, this is his card. Wow, you're right out of Conway. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, and let's see, what do we uh, have here? That's the house we have out in Utah. Our mountain home. Awesome. Excellent. Well, Barry, thank you so much for, can I keep this yeah. card then? Yeah, and the, the main thing with all this is you can buy stuff for $2,000 to do it, or you can make it, and it costs 12 cents a bottle. There you go. That's my kind of deal. And it's the, the pure truthfully for like colon cancer they show on Sarah Westall drinking this hydrogen water which is the most abundant element in the world hydrogen yeah yeah and when you do that the hydrogen can cure like your intestines and restore them even from chemotherapy and radiation awesome and it can take things like MS and start reversing them I'm treating a patient right now that has Parkinson's I think it's going to help them a lot I already gave it to a, uh, a gentleman that was on, um, he had the fistula installed in his arm, he had kidney failure, was getting ready to do dialysis. Yeah. In about a month when the hurricane was, everything closed down, he couldn't get to do dialysis. He drank a month's worth of water, gave him about 20 gallons. He didn't need dialysis anymore. There you go. And that's part of what I'm talking about, yeah. Barry, with my audience here too. Um, so today covered quite a bit more than, than I expected. I'm, I'm glad we had a chance to cover some of this. For your information, um, uh, have you seen any of my videos oh, yeah, in a while? Yeah, yeah. How about recently? Not recently, no. Okay, so today I want to just share with you something that I didn't share with my audience yet at this time today, but I'm, I'm bathing in reverse osmosis carbon filtered water. I uh, keep it warm on the stove. I just set the stove to warm. I'm heating it up in stainless. It's, uh, it's a water system that I bought that creates uh, about 70 gallons a day. Um, a bath is about 30 gallons or so. Uh, it warms up my house. It releases some good air, uh, good uh, oxygen into the house as well as my plants in that. Uh, that clean the the air and and I open up the windows when the air is good outside and then I'll close it right back up uh, but the what I'll do with the the bathing in the water I add about a cup of baking soda and um, I'm going to look into the uh, plasma water generator system right well that if you put it on plants yeah. Really, they, they respond. So your plants will oh, get I'm bigger. Sure. Your plants will grow more fruit. They get more luscious. The animals, it'll do the same thing when you give it to dogs. So there's no placebo effect because plants don't know. They're and not, they're and not dogs, believing. plants and dogs don't know that you <laughs> yeah. change the water, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, see, we have, um, we have some uh, Sphinx kitties. And Frank is adorable. He's our special needs cat. He's not the smartest tool in the shed. But he sure is special. We love him. He's he's required over seven hundred dollars of vet bills this year because of um, uh, kidney stones and or stones they call them. Now we've got him on a special uh, diet to help uh, keep those uh, minerals from developing crystals in his digestive tract.
you got to run. No, 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 no. You got to just use plasma water. You can save 700 bucks. Oh, I and you know what? We I give them the reverse osmosis water. Well, I use reverse osmosis, UV filtered, uh, charcoal filtered. I usually get it at Glacier Bay outlets. You know, yeah, yeah. Machines. Oh, yeah. That's what I use or distilled water when you're making plasma water. I'm going to I'm going to definitely be looking into making my own plasma water generator. And the plasma water you can use then if you want to take it and put it in the bottles and supercharge it and get the magnesium. And the magnesium works cuz you can take iron, you can strike a piece of magnesium, that's your fire starter. I've actually got some at home. Right. I'm a, so that magnesium when you put it in malic acid or in vinegar to clean your rods, these rods get oxidized after you use them quite a bit. Yeah. And rather than having to buy new rods, you take them and put them on a paper plate, pour some white vinegar on, roll them around, they smoke, they immediately all the oxidation comes off and they go back to a bright silver wow. rod and you got a brand new rod again and those rods are thick enough that they'll last your lifetime. So um, could I, uh, I'm listening to what you're saying, could I um, uh, put that in? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be bathing in it too. Yeah. I'll, I'll do that. Oh, yeah. that. So that's part of the, the dynamic that I talk about with my audience is it's not just the uh, putting the good stuff in, it's keeping the bad stuff out. Right. It gets a little bit more complicated when you realize there's a bullseye on humanity to have fewer of us and more of the controllers of the world brain dead people. the yeah. brain dead the the name of the broadcast today so far and i'm going to probably add some more hashtags to it was hashtag mk ultra yeah. and then i'll link my liked video playlist with this barry uh really a pleasure to uh to meet you is there anything else you would want to uh, well, magnesium is one of the magic bullets and the only other thing i could say real quickly is i do borax laundry detergent which is yeah. basically pure boron we've talked about that before yeah yeah when you take boron and then you drink the carbonated uh hydrogen water uh, that has a lot of magnesium malate in it which is the most bioabsorbable magnesium when you take borax an eighth of a teaspoon in a in a spring water bottle with something acid to neutralize it and you start drinking and eating that then that magnesium that you're taking is bioabsorbed you metabolize it and it takes it out of your joints out of your organs and out of osteoarthritis and puts it back in your teeth and your bones if you do that and you break a bone it'll heal in half the time whoa and so that, a lifetime supply of that costs five bucks whoa so where do you get your borax at walmart really expensive how much five dollars for about five pounds Borax in the laundry, at, in the, at laundry Walmart. De, the laundry department. It's the whitener. So, oh, so what's the name of it? What's borax. It? It's just called borax. Borax. They, they call it a laundry detergent. It's not a detergent. It's a whitener, but it's 99% pure boron. Boron's a trace element we don't get, and because you don't get it, then you get osteoarthritis. <laughs> you can't metabolize magnesium and calcium, and you calcify and can't move and your organs and your pineal gland all gets calcified then you can't think you can't connect with god the whole nine yards that's the whole game plan so barry you're born again too aren't you a little bit uh-huh yeah. well i'll tell you what it's really a pleasure to see you again yeah um how long ago did we talk do you think uh oh geez uh, probably when i got back from utah probably last spring in in june Wow. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what. I'm glad to see you yeah, again. Good seeing you. Thanks so much for your yeah. your time and the People information. Have to start taking their own responsibility for their health. They certainly can't rely on doctors. That's for sure. There you go, right, Barry. Bye -bye. Thank you so much. Wow. Well, that was uh, that was an unexpected uh, pleasure to see Barry. Oh, did you have a question for me? Oh, you've got a card for me. I've been following InfoWars for a long time. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, thank you. So what I what I would simply say is seek the seek the truth with all your heart, uh, because it's uh, it's important to know the truth and to walk in obedience to the way the walk in the way the truth and the life. This is Robert Forsh. Thank you so much for your uh, public and private encouragement and support. Please subscribe, like, and share if you do. Oh, and by the way, on the uh, on the flat Earth uh, clock, if you just to to be clear, 
I don't uh, make any money on any of the endorsements that I that I provide. I simply do that as a courtesy, as a service. I have a, a like for example to uh, mention the the real estate here. Just think about it. I'm in the uh, the Prince Resort parking lot right now, and uh, they've got a lot of maintenance that they provide uh, that they have to provide to keep this place looking so nice and I've got a place to do this um, to let you know that you could move here and have an oceanfront condo and there's a lot more what I would simply say um, even for whoa <laughs> for like uh, Logan Paul Logan if you want to do some video here that would be awesome we've got a lot of uh, attractions here that are a real pleasure to enjoy uh, the sky wheel, the uh, boardwalk, the boardwalk at the beach, Broadway at the beach, I mean. Uh, a tremendous amount of, um, of attractions, a great place to videograph, uh, videograph uh, uh, video, photograph, and to create power, what I view as very powerful content. We've got the natural um, example of reality of some really not only flat water but a very low um, geography next to the ocean here. Now I've been to California like Laguna Beach, the Sierra Madre, all up and down the coast and there's a, there's a lot going on there with uh, elevation next to, the, uh, next to the ocean which is quite a bit different looking. Uh, to, to be in this area where you can see the very uh, low, low country. I guess uh, technically Charleston is the low country. Some of it's below sea level. Where I live at home, uh, about seven miles from here is about eight and a half feet above sea level. That's about where I am right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for your public and private encouragement.